Samantha Cristoforetti will soon be returning to Earth after a five-month stay on board the International Space Station. Flying for the Italian space agency ASI, but a member of ESA's European Astronaut Corps since 2009, Samantha is an experienced military pilot with a background in aeronautical science and engineering. Preparing for the Futura mission, her first space flight, meant many months of intensive training with the space station's international partners. Spanning Europe, the USA, Canada, Japan and Russia, the program equipped her with the skills she'd need to undertake a long-duration mission in orbit. On November the 23rd, 2014, Samantha stepped onto the launch pad of the Baikonur Cosmodrome with two crewmates. NASA astronaut Terry Wirtz and Russian cosmonaut Anton Shkaplerov. Nine minutes after liftoff, the Soyuz capsule was in orbit. Less than six hours later, it docked with the ISS, 400 kilometers above the Earth. Samantha was welcomed by the station's three resident crew members, who had said goodbye to ESA astronaut Alexander Hirst just two weeks earlier. As expected, Samantha's life in orbit has been extremely busy. As the eighth ESA astronaut to undertake a long-duration mission, she's been responsible for continuing a program of European and international experiments in microgravity. Most of these experiments have far-reaching implications back on Earth. Inside the Quest airlock, Samantha has taken part in the airway monitoring experiment, which involves breath testing for the presence of nitric oxide. This shows the effect of atmospheric dust on astronauts' lungs and also tests a diagnostic procedure for doctors treating lung conditions. As flight engineer, Samantha has also been responsible for maintaining scientific and operational equipment. Here, she's seen replacing a smoke detector in the biolab, part of ESA's Columbus Laboratory. As a trained spacewalker, she's also provided support to crewmates who've been assigned tasks outside the station. On February the 14th, ESA's fifth automated transfer vehicle undocked from the ISS. Samantha oversaw the process. A poignant moment for ESA, as it marked the end of the station's ATV program. Elements of these huge cargo vessels will soon be making an appearance again, as part of NASA's Orion spacecraft. Together with NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore, Samantha was also responsible for capturing the SpaceX Dragon, a five-ton cargo vessel which delivered experimental materials for the crew. These included live cells for European experiments into the effects of spaceflight on the immune system. An important part of ESA's role in orbit is education, and the Futura mission has been no exception. During her stay on board the station, Samantha spoke to students from space, encouraging them to learn about ESA's science activities and hopefully inspiring the next generation of astronauts and researchers. As Futura draws to a close and Samantha Cristoforetti readies herself for the Soyuz flight home, two more European astronauts are preparing to follow in her footsteps. Andreas Morgensen from Denmark and Tim Peake from England are both scheduled to fly later this year as ESA continues its manned presence in orbit, maximizing the return from its investment in the largest ever outpost in space. <laughs>